see exactly what the point 0.8 tutorial is like before um, it's gone forever. We're going to be looking for secrets and potential lore that's hidden in there, or maybe even some um, potential hints to what may be coming in point 0.9. On that note, if you like the video, please be sure to like, and if you want to see more bigger videos, that means a subscribe is always nice. Um, in the description, I will have my Twitter, my Twitch, my Mixer, my Discord. I'm, I'm on a lot of things now, alright? Um, but um, you should check them out, and uh, let's get right into this. Norway, 1991. The nuclear war is over. Central Europe is devastated. Norway has become the last stand. Many people fled there. Civilians, soldiers, me. Now we all try to survive. We are outlanders. I gotta say, this game is very beautiful. I mean, it's not just the tutorial. There's the E8 Tromso sign. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but this game is beautiful. It has great graphics all around. Uh, it might not, I've found that when streaming this video, it doesn't exactly save the quality very well, but the game is beautiful, and if you do try it, you'll see what I'm talking about. The tunnel collapsed. It seems I'm the only one lucky enough to live. I should get off the road and find a safe place to stay to see another day. Alright, and then you can do character customization. Now in this game, you can change your character at any point to like whatever you want, so I'm just going to go with this. So there's the E8 Tromso sign. I'm probably going to talk about this in a different video, mainly because that reveals the real life location of potentially um, where this tutorial is and where this tunnel is that we see in the tutorial. But yeah, continuing, there's not much else really in this tunnel, I, or at least that I've noticed. I've run this through four times now. It's the first time that the stream is actually working. Alright, so down the road here you have a car accident. It seems to have stopped the road from continuing to move. And then it tells us to go look at three important locations. Now you would think that there would be important locations in between each of these locations, but there isn't. And that's not me complaining, I'm just saying like there there isn't much between to investigate. I'm not really gonna show off me investigating it. But this map is beautiful. I mean, this should never be a combat map or like an actual map used in for anything besides like a tutorial. Maybe this could be like a, a rec zone. But overall, this this map is just so visually appealing. Uh, I'm not going to read these little hints because they're really, they tell you kind of obvious things that I didn't think you would need. So. Now once we unload a bullet. There we go. Grab the bandages. Oh, the visual display disappeared. So in the beginning of the game, right off the bat, you get a Puko and a PM. Maybe I haven't memorized it yet. There is a bunch of stuff on the map, like a little hitters, much like every other map fighting in the margins, but with uh, this map I've already pretty much screenshotted all of it. I'll probably show off the, my screenshots at the end of the video, because I'm probably not going to go over every single screenshot I took in this video. Main reason for that being, uh, just editing. I mean, other things. No, one actually, I'm going to take that back. I am going to show you. So, real quick, there's G610, M1515, no, I can't read, M5115, Still can't read. G six one ten. Uh, no, what? You can read it. You can read it. I I'm illiterate. Right, up here we have the NP series thirty one thirty two fourteen. Down here we got a little note that I can't read. Um, nothing on the bottom edge, which is a little weird. But then we got over here two three five Lubbock, or Lubbock or something. Over here we got the Thompson SMG. 
That means our first two guns are the Thompson and the Puko. Which you can go like this. Just don't... Um, now iron sights. You, if you're watching this, you probably know how to get iron sights, but that's just quick. Your uh, right bumper. Get iron sights. So the next location we're gonna go to is the hunting watchtower, because we need something to do while the airdrop falls. I have tested what happens if you die in this, and I'm not gonna show that off because it's kind of annoying. We have to restart the entire tutorial. So meaning like, don't die, don't walk, and you might be wondering, how do you die? There's two ways to die. One, being completely and utterly stupid like I am, and falling off something like the hunting watchtower. If you fall off this watchtower, you will die. It's not really a question. Um, so this is a pretty good view. Just the entire area. Thompson's not a good gun to work in a view with. But, uh, it's pretty beautiful, this map. Um, uh, you can also die from going underneath the airdrop. And that's how I died. And that's how I know that it does nothing. But, uh, yeah, I've run this tutorial six times. So, like, there's... I, I, you can trust me in saying there's not much interesting besides what I'm showing you. There is this bridge here. I'm not really gonna show off much because there's not much to show off. It's just a bridge. Uh, there's a lot of bridges like this in the actual game. There's bigger ones actually that are more elaborate and more interesting. But that's just one of them. Alright, time to show you what I wanted to show you, which is up here. Up here you have um, a group of really beautiful scenery that's very interesting. distance now I'm not gonna lie I don't know what map this is I would say Falcanton but the entire topography just is no I mean there is a church on Falcanton but nothing else about this screams Falcanton could be it can't be Fisk which is one of the major maps on the water and it can't be Drog which also is on the water so I honestly don't know what map that is I'm trying to think, like, it can't even be Gronthium, because Gronthium's church is located near the middle of the map, and closer to the side with the mountains. So, this is honestly something that interests me. I'm quite curious what this will end up being, if it will end up being anything. I mean, for all we know, this could just be a red herring. There is a boat right there, as well. But you'd think it's, it's kind of peculiar, yeah, peculiar, if that's like an unused asset in the tutorial. Like, yeah, it's kind of... A little weird. Up here you do have some white loot, and it's just generally a beautiful area of the map. Um, it's in the, in, on the actual map, so in this entire area. I personally think when we get the point .9 tutorial, they're gonna leave everything the same except this area. This area is very, like, beautiful looking, and it's, from what we realize, it's probably one of the best, like, uh, areas to view in the map, in the, and in the game. And the reason I say that is not because like it's actual view, not because of like animation, like you'd think, and someone's probably gonna say in the comments, well it's the tutorial, they gotta make it look the best. No, it's because you can walk around in complete tranquility. There is no way someone's gonna shoot you. You can walk around for as long as you want because there's no radiation, and you can just relax. All right, next thing's next. We have the airdrop. Now this is a, open it real quick, it's a common crate. That nobody's ever opened an air crate. <laughs> you guys haven't opened an airdrop before, that's what I'm trying to get the open one. Um, I'm gonna take the longer route so we can just look, see more of the tutorial. But yeah, this is pretty much the tutorial. Now there is something out there, and I'm gonna go on top of the bridge to look out at it. I can't, uh, when I was originally playing through this, I didn't notice it. I noticed it the last time, but I died the last time, so that didn't really matter. Oh, we can walk all the way down there. Yeah, let's do that. I have to say, I do like this. I don't... No, I'm not gonna lie. I, it, the tutorial isn't good. It, it doesn't do what it, it, it's really supposed to do. Okay. 
attack or act. <laughs> um, it, it this is kind of a bad door, and I'm, if I'm gonna be honest, I, I'm I'm curious what they're gonna do in the point nine revamp to make it more of a usable tutorial. But beauty wise, it it does its job. If you're gonna ask, wait, what do you think they should improve? Right, right there, there's home base. That, that's actually this is actually a really good spot to work out at. We can fall. Right there's home base. A nice view of it. You never really get this view again. So nice to see that that's I don't know, but that's that's the house, definitely. Uh I'll go when we get in the match, see if I could uh, when we get out of this, see if I can figure out what that is. We had I really wish we could have like an S V U or an M twenty one for this map. We can actually like thoroughly investigate. I'm sure someone's gonna figure out how to glitch into here and use an SVU. Across the way we got some, yeah, that's just the other bank. I think we're gonna actually get a better look at it when we go into the home base. But that's it, guys, and that's the point eight tutorial. Um, there's this little thing here. Now, based off what I just did, I'm gonna show you where I think the tutorial takes place relative to the home base. This is also another beautiful image. Um, just gonna quickly note that. I like I like the uh, screensaver for this game. It's quite beautiful, and they do it quite well. Now, someone's probably gonna comment, "Well, you're padding the video." No, okay, guys, I, I don't do I don't do ads. I don't have enough followers for ads yet. So I'm trying to get you guys to see every little aspect, so I can actually make a good video. All right, so let's quickly. I'm gonna ignore every single tip here because of my job not to do these tutorial tips. Let's just grab... Can I please not? Do we have any guns that start out with a scope? No. But we do have... The, um, PM. PM should work. Alright, so, quick, 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 quick. Uh, here. As you can see, this is the opposite side. Like, I'm betting you that up there, where the tutorial takes place. And then this is where the voice is. Now, the reason I say that is because you have this jut here, you have this uh, forest here, this would have been the, the, the steep cliffs. Now, I think this could potentially be what we are seeing for this little thing here. I think the up here is where the tutorial takes place. The reason I say that the up there is where the tutorial takes place is because there's that little branch there and that's kind of in the tutorial. And that just seems like a very nice little walkway where one could uh, access the store. And for those wondering, I am one, almost 100% sure that this is the house we saw earlier. Dude, it's quite red color. There is a lot of bright red houses. It's just we don't really see many that... Like, it's just... There's a lot of things that work for this to be the house we see in the tutorial. Which leads me to believe the tutorial takes place on this back road that we saw earlier that I just pointed out. Alright guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, and I'll see you all next time.